The name of this tutorial is Blender 2.5 Orientation. A thank you to Neil Hersig at tufts.edu. His uh, tutorial is at grillis.net and this is the source for my tutorial. Blender uses three dimensions, X in red, Y in green, and Z in blue. The default orientation is global, which means that the orientation remains constant regardless of which object is selected or which view is active. Blender allows you to change the X, Y, and Z axis from global to local orientation. We'll start with the default Blender scene and add a torus, Shift A, Mesh, Torus. In global orientation, the Z axis runs up and down. The Y axis in green runs towards and away from the front, and the X axis in red always runs horizontal to the front. We'll switch to the front view with numpad 1. Press the R key and rotate the torus in the Y axis 45 degrees. So that's R, Y, 45. You can rotate the torus along the global X or Z axes as well. You can change the axis orientation from global to local by clicking on the orientation drop down box. Change the orientation from global to local and the orientation is based on the object's axis instead of the constant X, Y, and Z. So you can rotate the torus along the X, Y, and Z axis of the torus instead of the global X, Y, or Z axis. Now select the cube. We're still in local orientation. However, since we haven't rotated the cube, the global and local orientations are the same. So we'll rotate the cube 45 degrees on the Y axis. Again, R, Y, 45, Enter. The Translate Manipulator widget reflects the object's axes now. We'll select the torus, switch from Translate Manipulator widget to the Scale Manipulator widget, and scale the torus along the local Z axis, or we can scale it along the local X axis. We'll switch to the Rotate Manipulator widget, and we see that we can rotate the torus along its local Z axis or local X axis. Since the rotation is initially around the z-axis rather than the x-axis, in front view we can see all three axes, the local blue z-axis, the local green y-axis, and the local red x-axis. Switch to the Translate Manipulator widget. Rotate the view to a dimensional user view, and with the cube object selected and with the orientation as local, it makes it easy to manipulate the object along its axis. So to illustrate, we'll press Shift-D to create a duplicate cube, and then the X key and move it so we can see that the duplicated cube moves along the same local X axis as the original cube. Blender also supports view orientation, in which the orientation is the same as the view you're in, no matter what view, front, side, top, or user. And there's a new orientation for 2.5, which is the gimbal orientation. And that's specific to gyroscopic type objects like a top or a gyroscope. Happy blendering.